What a horrible night to have a curse. Oh, hello there. Sorry, I was just thinking. When I first moved into this haunted house, I became saddled with an unfortunate ailment. Whenever the clock strikes midnight, I lose control of myself for a little bit. I'm not entirely sure what happens during that time, but I think the solution to my problem lies in this very house. See, this mansion has an attic, but I have yet to explore it. Why, you ask? Well, I have a bit of a problem. Come look at this. Yeah, you have to jump on all these platforms to reach it. Now why the heck would they design a house this way? Hey, what if we made this house extremely inconvenient for the next person who moves in here? Now if only there was something in this house that could tell me how to navigate these obstacles. Hey, what's that on the computer? Hmm... Well, looks like we have another Nickelodeon game to review. Haunted House Hop was a crossover game released on Nick.com. By controlling one of four characters, you would jump across platforms and see how high you could get in the biggest haunted house ever constructed. Sound simple enough? Well, let's give it a shot. Maybe it'll give us the answers we're looking for. Hey, is this some kind of joke? As soon as I start the game, it greets me with my name? Talk about spooky. Nah, it's actually Lucy from the show The Loud House. The playable characters include her, Patrick from Spongebob, Mikey from TMNT, and Charlotte from Henry Danger. I think it's amusing how they didn't go with the main characters from each show. But hey, it gives us a unique selection. But you can only unlock Mikey and Charlotte when you reach a certain score. When you select a character, you choose either easy mode or hard mode, but I didn't find them all that different. It's pretty hard either way, so you might just want to stick with easy. And since she happens to share my name, I suppose we'll give this a try with Lucy. She does look a little familiar, doesn't she? <sighs> Whoa, sorry about that. So you jump across these bony platforms and neither use the mouse or the arrow keys to guide your character. You can double jump by pressing space and attack by using X. It'll be a while before we make it to any enemies though. You can also press Z, but I'm going to be perfectly honest here. I have no idea what it does. Maybe you just have to wait for the right opportunity to press it. But anyway, just take a look at your surroundings. The ledges are big bones that are covered with even more bones. Gosh, you think that's enough bones? And in the background, we have an endless array of portraits, all of which feature skeletons or ghosts, and a cemetery. And this is the music you hear the entire time. <laughs> Really gets you in that spooky mood. But you'll soon find that reaching certain heights is a bit easier said than done. And when you fall to your death, the game will throw you back up, but not always in the direction of a platform. This means that a lot of the time, you just have to accept your demise. That's no fun. Accepting the inevitability of death is something we have to do in real life. Now we have to do it in our silly little cartoon game too? And as you move up, the platforms begin to change. You also encounter new items, such as these potions that send you flying upwards. Similarly, these magic floating arrows will fling you in a certain direction, and these green bones will break after being bounced on. There are also bat platforms, bat forms if you will, that gradually change in size. And watch out for the ghosts. Ah, uh, we're dead. You have to use X to attack them, but it can be hard to even reach them. But as we can see, defeating three ghosts is one of our challenges, along with collecting a certain amount of potions and garnering a certain score. Your score is the most important, since that's how you unlock people. Though I should also mention your attack. You just kind of spring forth this gunshot energy to inflict harm upon your enemies. Now that would be a handy skill to have. Hey ghost, come over here for a second. Oh hey, what's going on? <laughs> but what I find amusing is how you have to jump for a while before any new platforms or items show up. But it acts as motivation to keep you going. You might think, hmm, I've been jumping for a while, but there might still be something new for me to encounter. It gives the illusion that this isn't an endless jumper and there actually is an end in sight. And hey, I have to figure out the secret behind this game to reach my attic, so let's endure this jumping fest and see what we have to do. Here we go. Well, we learned one thing. I'm really, really bad at this. I've been playing for hours now. I have to finish this before midnight, so I can't afford to waste any more time. So, hmm, what could the big secret be?
What exactly is this game hiding? Hmm. Hey, wait a minute. I think I figured it out. Hold on a second. Alright, thank you all for coming. Now I have a very important task I'd like you to complete for me. You see, my attic is up there, but it's only reachable by navigating these platforms. I need you to reach it by using those excellent skills you showed in Haunted House Hop. Understood? I'll take that as a yes. Now get to it. Ouch. Well, that didn't work. Back to square one. So, all things considered, this game is alright for what it is. For a basic jumping game, they really added as much as they could. There's a lot to see, so you have motivation to keep going until you can see it all. What awaits you at the top? Well, we may never know, but I'm determined to find out. I promise to endure this game's difficulty until I see what the game's big secret is. Here we go again. Okay, I give up. I can't get very high, so I guess that's it. This game is way too hard for me to get through. We might have to give up on solving this whole mystery. It just isn't worth the trouble that goes into- Hey, what was that? You all saw that, didn't you? Let's look back on the footage there. Press Z? Well, I was wondering what pressing Z would do, so I guess this is the point in the game where we have to do it. So, I guess without further ado, let's hit the Z key. Hey, what was that? Oh my gosh. This staircase came down from the attic. Who would have thought that the game developers at Nick.com designed this game specifically to tie into my haunted mansion? Well, I guess we can check out the attic now. Let's head on up. Hmm. What's this? Some kind of spooky book? Oh. Oh. It says here that long ago, a girl died near this very mansion. She's said to have manifested as a malignant spirit who haunts the games that used to frustrate her. Anyone who plays them in this house is at risk of being attacked. That means that when I won this mansion in that strange contest I didn't enter, someone was hoping I'd play these games and become possessed. Or worse. Uh-oh. This is a lot to take in. I'm not sure what to think about all this. I think I have to- Oh no, not now, no, not midnight, no, I can't, I can't, ah! Guess I lost control again. That really sucked. Hopefully I can put an end to this demonic possession by the end of the month. Or just stop reviewing games at midnight, that could help too. Anyway, I need to go lay down and process the new information I received. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe, follow me on the accounts linked in the description below, and tune in to our next installment. Thank you for joining me, I will see you in the next memory. Jumping in a haunted house, jumping on oh so many bones. Jumping in a haunted house, leaving behind a whole lot of gravestones. Cause I'm jumping in a haunted house. This is all a series of endless pains and groans.